Hello, in this video we are going to solve this exponential equation we have m power 6 equals m minus 1 or power 6 and we are solving for all these complex solutions and real solutions. So let's go ahead and do that. What we are going to do is we can rearrange this equation and we can have m power 6 minus we have m minus 1 or power 6 and this equals 0. The next thing we are going to do is we can rewrite this m power 6 as we have m power 3 or power 2 minus we do the same thing here we can have it as m minus 1 power 3 then this is raised to the power of 2 and this equals 0 so right now if you multiply these two exponents you are going to have 6 and if you multiply 3 by 2 again you are going to have 6 now look at what we have here the exponent here is 2 and the exponent here is 2 so we can make use of difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared, and this equals a plus b times a minus b. And from this particular equation here, our a equals m power 3, and b equals, we have m minus 1 power 3. So that means if we make use of this difference of two squares here, a plus b we are going to have m power 3 plus we have m minus 1 power 3 then for a minus b we are going to have m power 3 let me use square bracket then we have minus m minus 1 power 3 and this equals 0 now we can make use of this other identity this one here is in the form of a power 3 plus b power 3 which equals we can make use of this identity a plus b times we have a squared minus a b plus b squared then this other one here is in the form of a power 3 minus b power 3 which equals we can have a minus b then we have a squared plus a b and plus b squared. So we are going to apply these two identities right here. Here we have this one here. We are going to apply the first one. And when we have this other one, we are going to apply the second identity. Now let's start with the first one here. a plus b, meaning that from here our a equals we are going to have m and b equals we are going to have m minus 1 so let's take note of that so for the first one here a plus b we are going to have let me make use of square bracket m plus m minus 1 and for this one here we are going to have a squared that is m squared then we have minus a b we are going to have m into m minus 1 plus b squared we are going to have then let's proceed to this other one here and we are making use of this identity so we are going to have another square bracket so let me bring it down a minus b we are going to have Then we have a squared then we have plus a b then we have plus b squared and this equals zero so we have been able to express this given equation using these two identities so right now let's actually work on what we have here so m plus m minus 1 this will give us m plus m that is 2m minus 1 and here we are going to have m squared we are going to have m squared if you expand this we are going to have negative m squared then we have plus m then if you expand this you are going to have 
plus we having m squared minus we have minus 2m plus 1 then this one here we are going to have let me bring it down m minus if you expand this you are going to have positive 1 because m will cancel m so this will give us 1 because m will cancel this minus m and we have minus times negative 1 we are going to have 1 now this other one here we are going to have m squared let me start there then if you expand this you are going to have plus m squared minus m then we have plus m squared if you expand this minus 2m plus 1 and this equals 0 so that means what we are going to have is let me take this one we have 2m minus 1 then let me work on what we have here m squared minus m squared this will cancel then we have m squared positive m minus 2m we are going to have negative m then we have plus 1 then this is 1 so we neglect that and for this one here we have m squared plus m squared plus m squared that is 3m squared then you have negative m minus 2m you have negative 3m and we have plus 1 and this equals 0 so right now we have three different equations that is the first one will be m 2m minus 1 equals 0 or we have m squared minus m plus 1 equals 0 or we have 3m squared minus 3m plus 1 equals 0. Now for the first one here, this will definitely give us a real solution. If you have 2m minus 1 equals 0, that means you are going to have 2m equals 1. And from here, you are going to have m equals 1 over 2. So this becomes one of the solutions. This is the real solution. Now let's solve this other one here. So we have m squared minus m plus 1 equals 0. We can make use of formula method. We make use of m equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So from here, a equals 1, b equals negative 1, and c equals 1. So we are going to have m equals negative b, we're going to have 1, plus or minus. We have square root of b squared, we're going to have 1. Minus 4ac, we are going to have 4 times 1 times 1. And we have minus 4 divided by 2a, that is 2. So we are going to have m equals 1 plus or minus root of negative 3 divided by 2. And because of this negative sign here, we can introduce imaginary number i. And this equals 1 plus or minus root of 3 times i divided by 2. Now, this is second solution for m. Now, and this is a complex solution. We can also solve this other equation here, this third one, in order to find the value of m as well. So, we'll copy it down here. We have 3m squared. 3m squared, then we have minus 3m. Then we also have, let me copy the last one here. We have plus 1, and this equals 0. So let's also make use of the formula method as well. We are going to have m equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And from this particular equation, we have a equals 1, b equal, sorry, a equals 3, because the coefficient of m squared here is 3, b equals negative 3, and c equals 1, which is the constant here.
So we insert it into the formula. We are going to have m equals negative b. We are going to have 3 plus or minus square root of b squared. We are going to have negative 3 squared. That is 9. Then we have this is minus 4ac. That is 4 times 3 times 1. This will give us 12 divided by 3. Uh, sorry, divided by 2a and 2 times 3 is 2 times 3. So we move ahead. We are going to have m equals 3 plus or minus. This will give us root of negative 3 divided by 6. And because of this negative here, we can introduce imaginary number i. So we are going to have m equals 3 plus or minus root of 3 times i divided by 6. So in total, we are having 5 solutions. We have m equals 1 over 2 for the first one. Then this one we have this one here. 2 solutions. We have 1 plus or minus. We have m equals 1 plus or minus root of 3 times i then divided by 2 and finally we have this other one here m equals 3 plus or minus we have root of 3 times i divided by 6 now we are having 5 solutions in total so out of the we're supposed to have 6 solutions if you look at the problem very well because we are having m power 6 here we are having m power 6 but the issue is, if you actually expand this, if you expand this out, you're going to have m power 6 equals m power 6, then the rest of the expression. So that means m power 6 will definitely cancel m power 6. You are going to have m power 5. So that means you are going to have five different solutions because there will be a point that m power 6 will cancel m power 6. So that is it for the video. We have five different solutions and I believe you have gotten a value. Please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and drop a comment. Thank you.